Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today we're back out in a big green egg and I've showed you how to start a fire in the green egg. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how I set it up for doing some low and slow cooking using the diverter shield. Um, right now, what I've done is I've got my charcoal laid out just like in the other video where we showed you how to start a fire. The smaller pieces are kind of sorted to the outside. I filled it up to that first ring, that little uh, notch there that goes around. And I've put my bigger pieces kind of in a pyramid in the middle. And I've got one of these charcoal starters in here from Big Green Egg. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it lit. Now this part's the same as how to start any fire in the Green Egg. And you can use any kind of you know ignition you want. If you had some automatic, like a torch or something like that, it's fine. But I'm just using a starter cube and we're gonna get this uh, pile of bigger chunks going first. It's going to take about 15-20 minutes for it to, to get a good even burn going on. Then it's going to kind of spread out. But what we're going to do is come back and we're going to knock the coals down just a little, show you how I place my wood for smoking in here for the low and slow smoke, and then I'm going to put the heat diverter in. So stay tuned. About 15-20 minutes we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes on our coals here on the Big Green Egg. And you see I got a really good hot bed going. That's what I want. So I want to go ahead and get it set up for this low and slow cooking we're going to do uh, later on today. So I'm just going to kind of knock these coals out to where they'll spread out evenly now. But then I want to start placing my wood in here for doing some smoking. So today I'm going to be using some pecan wood and I just want to get it kind of spread around. There's no you know, right or wrong way how to place this wood in here, but you don't want to get it all in the center because it'll all burn up. I want to kind of scatter it a little bit to where, uh, you know, it gets in some areas to where the coals start burning and it'll get the wood later on so I don't have to add any more. So I just kind of spread it out. Get one piece that's kind of close to the center. The next are kind of out to the edges. So as the coals spread, the fire is going to catch them and they're going to smolder too and we're going to get some nice smoke. Now we got to get a div uh, diverter in. So the green egg has a ceramic diverter that helps when you're doing low and slow smoking. It keeps the temps down because the, the fire is not directly on your meat or product, whatever's on the grate. And it also radiates heat really well because it's ceramic. So as you can see, your, your uh, plate setter gets a little dirty from stuff dripping on it uh, while you're cooking. But what I've done is just went to the dollar store and got a cheap pizza pan and covered it in full. And you can place that right on the center of it. It'll, you know, it'll add a little bit extra um, mass for diverting heat as well but it's also you know you put the full on and it's going to catch any drippings it'll help clean up be a little bit easier so now we're ready to set our vents so on the top vent since i want to be doing um, a long low and slow cook i want my temps to be about 250 degrees i'm just going to close the daisy wheel and just give it a little crack that's all the air i need escaping and on the bottom vent I had it wide open for starting the fire. Well, I'm gonna close it off and then I'm gonna get it just about an inch is all the air I'm gonna let in. We're gonna see you know, if that's gonna help me stabilize. If I have to, I can go back and close it off a little more. But I know that with it cracked right here about an inch on bottom and with the daisy wheel cracked just a little bit on top, it's gonna to create good airflow and it's gonna hold me more in that low and slow smoking temp. So today we're going to be doing some low and slow cooking and that's why I wanted to show you how to set your big green eggs up for doing a long low and slow smoke cook doing those briskets, pork butts, and ribs. Thanks for checking out our video today. We'll put some more of these out in the near future. Come back and see us. Have a good one.